Yeah. We're just hours away at this point from Boeing, which is reported moments ago is now under FAA investigation, launching two astronauts into space for a long-awaited mission. The company's Starliner capsule takes off from Cape Canaveral tonight. And after years of delays and a series of controversies uh, with the company, Leroy Chow is here. He's a former NASA astronaut, retired ISS commander. Um, do you get excited about this, no matter whether it's Boeing or SpaceX or whoever it might be? That's uh, something. Just in general, is this something that you still get pumped when the, you hear about someone doing something like this? Oh, you bet. Now, uh, <laughs> launches are always exciting, and especially if you know the people on board. I know Sonny and Butch very well. We trained together. Sonny and I trained together in Russia many years ago, uh, and so to see them finally getting their chance to go, they've been waiting for a very long time. You mentioned a lot of delays, a lot of problems. Uh, now they're finally going to get their chance to go. So yeah, I'm, I'll be watching. I'll, I'm excited. For would it. it make you nervous? I you say you know that. Would it make you nervous if you were there? Yeah, given everything that, uh, not only that Boeing has been through, not as a company, that's separate from this, but that this program has been through all the delays. Uh, if you, now that you're finally there. Is that in the back of your head? Well, you're right. I mean, the Boeing has obviously had a lot of problems in the last several years, mostly in the airplane division, yeah. but in the space division, too. I mean, they've had these technical issues with the software. They've had problems with the valves. Uh, Sonny and Butch have been in there, you know, kind of looking at and looking in their knickers, as, as we say, uh, mm -hmm. making sure that everything is ready because they're the ones that are climbing on top of that thing. And so uh, they, you know, rest assured that they have looked at everything and they're confident and ready to go. I mean, there's risk in everything, especially a space launch, especially the first time on a new vehicle. Although the rocket has flown for many decades, very reliable rocket. And I believe this is its 100th launch. And so uh, they should, I think everything's gonna go great. You've been involved at all with private, uh, the privatization process, uh, you know, in space since you mm -hmm. left NASA? And if so, what's your personal involvement in this? How do you feel about privatization? Oh, I think it's great. I, I've been in, involved in a number of different commercial ventures, uh, you know, in companies, including companies like SpaceX. And so it's been very exciting, you know, to watch this happen. And so uh, SpaceX, of course, was the other uh, yep. entity, the other company that received NASA funding. They've been flying astronauts to and from ISS for well over three and a half years. Boeing uh, came in and NASA gave them almost twice as much money be because they're more expensive, but they, NASA wanted Boeing in the game because NASA said, look, Boeing knows how to do this. We know it's going to get done. And here they are, the ones that are kind of coming up. Uh, you know, yeah, you late, know, right? Yeah, it's, SpaceX is the one that's been more right successful, right? And more, uh, yes, you know, absolutely. how would you compare it, you know, to what you saw when you when this was all government run? I mean, is it better now? Is it different now? And what would you say? Definitely different, and I think better. You're going to get different opinions talking to different yeah. folks. Uh, but, you know, especially in the case of SpaceX, they can hold that up. NASA can hold that up. It's a big success where they got development of a new vehicle, which is operational now and has been operational for, like I said, over three and a half years at, at a bargain, at a, at a very reduced price compared to what traditionally it would have cost and what it did cost uh, Boeing. You know, Boeing came in with a big number. Uh, they actually, <laughs> because of all their problems, they've taken about another one and a half billion hit. Yeah. Uh, they're not making any money on this on this deal. This is all. Um, you know, this is all to, to show that they still have a place in, in space uh, vehicles. Well, they need anything to help, you know, just get anything to, to turn things around. I mean, just another FAA investigation was just announced, again, separate division. But still, any good publicity would be a good thing for Boeing, what it's uh, been through. Uh, so we'll watch it tonight. Thanks for coming on with us today. We appreciate it. You bet. My pleasure. Okay. Thank you. Leroy Chow with us. For Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.